Hey, Ishola Olojede from Trend Funnels UK once again. Um, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today I would just like to um, talk more about how you can discover if any of your competitors are running any advertising campaign. You know, these days, I'll tell you um, real that a lot of people have been finding it very, very hard in terms of competing. Um, and what I just want to let you know today is just all about, it is not something that is hard anymore. There are a lot of tools out there which could help you to know what your competitors are doing, what kind of advertising campaigns they are running. And I'll be sharing with you a lot of stuff today. Just get ready and stay tuned. Don't get distracted. Just watch all I'm about to share with you today. Um, for the first question, I would like to first of all ask you, have you heard of a website called Similar Web? You see, it's free. Similar Web, it's free to use. It has this free paid, which entitles you to some um, some informations you can access to know what your competitors are doing, where their traffic is coming from, um, where their referrals are coming from, so that you can know where to direct your ad campaigns. So with that being said, we are going to use similar web to reverse engineer our competitor. I believe you are, must have heard about reverse engineering. Reverse engineering is all about looking at your competitors and therefore reverse engineer what they are doing thereby using it to your own advantages. advantage. Let me explain a little better. Similar web is a place where you can type in your competitor's website and instantly you receive ton of competitive data on them. And that's the good thing about similar web. Most important, how many website visitors they receive per month is going to tell you where their website traffic is coming from, as I said earlier on, and where their website banner ads and landing pages look like. What do they look like? This all will show you all this. Okay, what I also want to let you know is that um, because of this, uh, also there is also a tool called Spy Tools. Spy Tools also make use, helps you to have access to them right off the bat. And you can even see my past personal favor, favorite. In terms of if you visit the right hand side, you get to see some personal favorite I'm talking about. Type in every competitor's website you have found into similar web. Don't worry, it's all a free truth for you to get started. If you think you still need the pro version, then you can go ahead and subscribe to the pro version. But if you want to get the advance, as I said, you can really get the advance. So I'll be going into similar web so that you can see what I'm about talking about here. Right now, I've gone into um, a website all you just need to do is to type in the website into the search box for example i've typed in click funnels now i want to be okay i want to get more um people to because i do i'm an athlete to click funnels i want to know how click funnels is getting their traffic so that I will know where to divert my ads campaign. If you look at it, click funnels is already we want to go into their traffic view. It says total visit to click funnels website is roughly 18 million. You see that visit so now and it tells you how much how was the average duration people spend and that's a good thing. What how the pages per visit and bounce rate if the bounce rate is higher in terms of is around 80 percent or 90 percent then that's not too good that means people are not spending 
people visiting the site are not spending enough time. They just go in and they are out. But 50, 53% bounce rate is still fair enough. So that shows me that I can copy the funnel used by ClickFunnel and build the landing pages landing page that is similar to what click funnels has so and also it also tell me similar up so similar web also tell me which country is the traffic coming from and from here you see that the traffic click funnels is getting to their website are mostly coming from the united states followed by united kingdom followed by canada followed by france followed by italy now i want to share some hidden things about this for the fact that the traffic is coming from the united states does not mean okay they will all be coming if you now look at the arrow sign just over here just use my cursor to show you if you look at these you see it shows that the traffic there is going down so should you be going in here to source for traffic no for me i don't i'll see that I'll, i look at this that the, the traffic here is really competitive so therefore i will not be going to market in united states or trying to pull my traffic from united states rather i've seen france here 5.43 and it shows that there are opportunities in france and even you can see for lately for the past few months france you've seen that a lot of traffic have been from france as in it is the only traffic growing that shows you that there are opportunities coming up in france and therefore you need to tap into di direct your ad campaigns rather than you selecting setting your ad campaigns on france it's better to set your ad campaigns rather than you setting your ad campaigns on united states or united kingdom it's better to set your ad campaign on france where it is guaranteed that you get traffic and also get conversion where people could buy and start using click funnels so where are the traffic sources so let me just share what the traffic source for click funnel is this is the traffic source for click funnels it shows um that that the traffic for click funnels is coming all the way direct direct traffic is 52 percent what is mean by direct traffic is all about coming directly from the website we also have the referrals we also have the search we also have the social social it could be facebook it could be pin interest it could be twitter it could be any of those yeah then we also have mail so it tells you now my focus if i want to direct my campaigns that means i'll be looking for campaigns direct to website at least directly to their website so now the good thing about similar web is now also tells you about which top ref where are the top referring sites to click funnels and that's the beauty of all this it shows you how they come in how people are coming from where they are coming you can see from here we have some power quadrants people coming in from car power quadrants people coming from um warrior plus people coming from trading view people coming even from lead funnel sending page we have um so and it shows that once people visit from are uh, referred from this side they go into click funnels and from there they go into either may enter in an email list or in, into a face facebook or into any other form of um email email list um capture so with that being said that's the beauty it tells you now if i want to direct i can even now direct my campaign to warrior plus because i know most complain from warrior plus or power quadrant they are really high in terms of 4.5 percent and also we also have the search the search it tells you now that's the beauty the beauty of using similar web again it tells you okay organic search that means if you have a website that is really ranking we have 32 percent and we have the 16.63 paid search now this is now telling you now what are the five 
paid keywords for click funnels it also tells you and that's one of the beauty about using similar web it tells you the social traffic where is the social traffic coming from you see that 49 percent of the social traffic is coming from facebook <coughs> followed by YouTube. Before, Facebook was really higher than that. It seems now YouTube is about taking, it, it seems just about 5% more and it will take over Facebook. That shows you that video, it's very, very important these days in marketing. In terms of using um, YouTube ads, that's another secret I'll be sharing with you. You can use youtube tra um ads to generate genuine traffic that are bound to convert and also it tells you the display advertising it tells you the top publisher that means it tells you okay as i said i told you about youtube hard one of the top publishers are youtube has yahoo um grunts and um, uh, and others and it also shows you also the top hard network the top uh, the top hard network is google display network followed by the rest so that shows you that even though if you want to set up an ad it's best for you to go into to go into hard words rather than visiting any form of other ad networks because that is how you can capture that shows you how click funnels is getting generating their traffic now we also have the website content it tells you what is in there what is being visited and it tells you what interests let's first take for example you are setting up a facebook ads now you want to know what interest to put in there simple as that it shows you the category that's the business and industry internet and telecom so it's now this shows you that you can just copy all these areas and put it onto your category when setting up your um when setting up your facebook ads that okay you want traffic people who are visiting business and industry internet and telecom computers and electronic software and internet and telecom online marketing and therefore that narrows down you opening yourself and helping you to build pixels thereby helping you to retarget people that are bound to convert with that being said i'll be moving out of this website now i believe i've shared more information on this so I've said, I'll be showing you in a nutshell, every time we type in a competitor, as I said, into any of this spy to similar web, they receive more than 10. That shows you what, let me tell you what I want to tell you, where you, the websites you are looking into receive more than 10,000 visitors per month. Are they what you that's what you want to look at? Are they running online paid advertising of any kind? What do their ads and copy look like? What page do we get taken to when we click on their ads if we can find them? And this is what thing you need to first of all be looking into before you run, run any ads campaign. You need to understand first what your competitors are doing. What are they running where are they running their hats are they running on youtube hats are they running on google display hats are they running in opinion interest um are they running on facebook you need to be able to know where they are running their hats and the next thing you need to know is what kind of hats are they running you need to what kind of banners are they using what page do we get taken to when we click on their hearts if we can find them that's their landing page so if you can find that landing page you can look at the funnel you can even purchase product on there so that you helps you to look at the funnel if you go to my funnel hacking um video you get to learn more about what funnel hacking is all about so the first question is important to know so you can confirm if it's even worth researching the competitor so you don't want to waste your time 
in researching a competitor that is, does, doesn't really want it. If the competitor is not receiving any traffic or any tiny amount of traffic, they are probably aren't making a lot of money. So the more traffic a, com a company or a, a website receives, it gives you the more money they will be making from an online sales funnel. And the second question is, is it important to know it's important to know because we only want to funnel our competitors who are running paid traffic to their sales funnels. So with that being said, um, you, you don't want to be running um, traffic. You don't want to be hacking funnel of any competitors that are not really running paid ads. So one, I want you to understand there is difference between paid ads and also there's also difference between um, you ranking your website organically. So what I'm talking about in here is all mainly paid ads. The third question now is important because we want to know what kind of ads landing pages and copy to drive when launching our sales funnels. So that is also very important. We don't want to spend thousands of pounds and weak testing ads. The fourth question now is important to know because in order to funnel hack the remainder of their funnel, we will need to know how the landing page they are using to advertise looks like. You will need to look the processes. That's why I've told you, nothing stops you if you want to know how the funnel of your competitor looks. Purchase the product they are selling. Look at what funnels is taking you, what funnel. You see, after you finish your purchases, it directs you to another funnel, another landing page. From there, you capture, it directs you to another landing page. So it's, these are what we refer to as funnels. And this is how people make money from their back back in let me tell you you can't set a funnel funnel hub today and give your front-end product off for free and therefore you see people like to have free stuff yes you, you could give them something just to pull them in and therefore you direct them to another funnel where you have already warmed them up and therefore, at that point in time, let me tell you, they are bound to convert and purchase any form of product from you. So it can only, as I've said, um, I am a marketer and I don't want to have a guest work. Really, when in the business of making money, will I want to waste time guessing? It can only lead to opportunities of failure. Educated guesses and approximations may be, but blind luck, there is no place for that here. So I don't want you to start guessing, and there are a lot of marketers out there who do everything on guesswork, who do everything on trial and error. That is purely wrong. I want you to carry out your tests, carry out your researches. That's why I've given you a tool, make use of similar web. It's one of the greatest tools I still use today. Often at times, the landing page a company will use for a paid advertising will look entirely different from the pages on their regular website. That is a key reason why you need to try and look for how your competitors are doing. Because now, if you go to similar web, it tells you where is the a day once someone before someone visits a, a landing page visit a company's website let's say for example before they visited click on their website you see where the traffic are coming from they're coming from warrior plus they are coming from different areas so that helps you because some companies they might you you might be wrong you know they are using separate landing page and to lead people into their own website. Finding out this information for each of our competitors takes a lot of time, but it's what it's, it's weight in thousands. Let me tell you, it is time consuming, but it's what it's weight because now you don't want to waste your time and spending money on paid ads at the end of the day, you're not, your ads are not converting. Now take the rest of the day and for example, I want you to give the similar web a try. Very simple, easy for you to capture. Don't forget, as I've said, we are only looking for three key things when you visit the similar web. Overview, 
Overview will show you immediately if your competitor's website is receiving traf enough traffic. It doesn't skip that competitor's and type in the next. If it doesn't generate traffic, then forget go to the next competitor. Sometimes a, a, a site will receive such little traffic, not enough data will show up on similar way, which is true. That shows that, okay, this site, once you see no traffic showing on similar web, that means the site is not receiving enough traffic. So the display will also show us what percentage of website traffic comes from display advertising, which I've already showed you already. Display advertising is also known more commonly as banner ads advertising. Most sites don't run display ads. If your computer site does run display ad, then you are in luck because funnel hacking them will be much easier. Simple as that. Underneath this option, you will also get to see the exact banner ads they are running as well. So you can easily model them. So if you go for the pro version, I believe you'll be able to see the banner ads they are using. And sometimes you, you, you still get this on, on the um, free free webs, website they do have. If you decide to become a pro member, as I said, you can get more competitive data from each banner and um, shows as how long your competitor have been running advert the ads they are running what referrals referral is another critical thing as i've told you the three critical things you want to be looking at on display ads is the overview the display ads if you will be using paid displayed hats but where you want to be ranking your website where you want to be building your website similar web will also be in the position to help you okay and also you want to look into their referrals you want to know um what where we are looking at referrals you want to analyze really the top 